Hi and welcome back to Applic Reviews where we demo and highlight useful software and tech. Today I'll be reviewing an app called Flux 5 so let's get started. So what is Flux 5? Um, basically it's an application for designing websites visually and using uh, code as well. And you can start with a template or a blank page, it's really up to you. Uh, so essentially it's a powerful complete web authoring solution. So let's dive right in and uh, here's a look at the website and as you can see the developer is the escapers okay so let's just give a quick scroll through of this web application and of course it is on version 5 so um, it definitely has been in development for um, quite a while and it's uh, coming a long way alright all right and uh, just before we leave the the page here I just want to go over the fact that this is a complete solution so they do have a lot of help available you can go to their YouTube channel uh, where there are tutorials uh, you can get a uh, customer support go to the customer support forum they have a flux wiki by a third party a flux Google group and you can also get help by uh, downloading the PDF guide as well from the help menu with an application. All right, so let's go in and look on the App Store really quick. And this is it. You can see we're on version 566. It's actually a 5613, which I'm sure will be um, updated once um, El Capitan is released. All right, and just go through a couple of these screenshots. All right, all right. So let's dive right in here. So, what are the core features? So, number one, it's a modern, complete web authoring application. Um, two, it's a what you see is what you get. Drag and drop coding templates all rolled into one application so complete um, three uh, you know once again 31 built-in templates or you can create your own uh, it also has a crowd code feature and let me just go to the website to uh, explain that feature so basically it enables you to download new and exciting elements for your pages um, advanced users can even submit code for others to use so pretty much is a, a resource to, to use for people who have created um, snippets to do certain, uh, perform certain things on a website or actions on a website. Um, the next thing is that it has a built-in site manager um, that's been rebuilt because it's always, you know, had a site manager. But in, in version 5, it's been rebuilt to make it easier to uh, navigate. Also has built-in FTP slash SFTP. Uh, you can also work on remote sites directly, which means, you know, while you're working on a remote site, uh, it live updates. So that's essentially what that means. Um, to me, it's a version of Dreamweaver without the subscription. Uh, so I think it's on par, if not better in, in uh, many ways. Um, and you don't have to deal with, you know, the huge file sizes as well as the uh, cost a huge cost of um, an application like Adobe Weaver, uh, Dreamweaver, and also it also su supports uh, device specific layouts. All right, so let's go right in here, and I'm gonna actually use a template. Um, you can actually show this at the startup if you want. You can open project or create a new project, um, and we have recent sites and remote. So let's just go in templates and let's go to creative and it asks you to uh, name your site. So I'll just do that really quick. And this is the application. So I'm actually just going to go through uh, these menus here. So we have swatches, which is color swatches. This is what uh, that is pretty much allows you to 
edit a collection of colors all together and you can uh, add or delete okay master master element so you can create an element use an element update and uh, that's the ID master element ID okay and this is that crowd code uh, feature that I mentioned that I really think it's a really neat uh, feature to be included in the program all right and this is the site manager here the sidebar and as you can see you have site navigator which we don't have anything loaded so it's not showing anything and styles so let's load something here so these are all the assets on the uh, within this uh, template here so if we double click index the template loads and now as the template is loading here let's just wait a bit we can go back to the site go back to navigator or go to navigator navigating all of the different elements in the site and we can uh, view the styles which was the default screen that the uh, that it went to once the index file loaded and as you can see a re really beautiful uh, template here let me just um, make it full screen oops I held it that's uh, El Capitan's uh, new feature if you hold on that uh, full screen button it'll actually do a, a split screen and I held it when I should have just pressed it but anyway um, just to show you the preview so let's just go here so this is edit obviously and here is a preview of the site they actually have a full web browser uh, built into the application so it looks really nice with this uh, template here let's go through that so all of the modern uh, websites that you see on a daily basis when surfing the web it's all built in in this application and you can create all of those effects with this application a little bit more all right so all right so back here so right here we have on the, in the toolbar we have project you can name the project uh, put yourself as the author or whoever is working on it put notes in restore open files enable roll uh, rollback for this project purge all versions and once you're done you just click done you can edit the source code and this is all of the source code for uh, this entire uh, site that we um, look through as you can see it's a lot here uh, but one of the great things about this application is that it creates optimized um, HTML5 Java uh, JavaScript as well as CSS3 and uh, even X, X, HTML and Ajax as well um, all built into this application okay you can validate uh, just to make sure that everything is in compliance as we see we got quite a few warnings here so it gives you the ability to um, see if you've made any errors and correct them before you actually um, post your or upload your website and then assets it gives you the ability to see all of the assets of the of this uh, web page okay or website all right and then we have a right panel here which just uh, displays more um, asset assets here as you can see some objects tables lists um, divs up here blocks blocks of code spans media that's all the media uh, forms so everything is uh, that's in this application excuse me this uh, template is all 
uh, able to be scrolled through and found on this uh, side panel here. Image maps, HTML5, other. We can look at some code snippets and we can look at uh, widgets as well. So some built-in widgets as well for this application. All right. On the bottom here, we can you can actually uh, search search uh, these options as well. So let me just give a example. Oops. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have zoom, and you can go all the way up to 300 there. Masters. We can show grid. Let me just um. Let's go there. Yeah, you can show the grid. Let's take it off. Relations, tokens, spans, margins, padding, frames. Uh, so basically, this application allows you to show or hide all of the different elements that you're working with on the uh, within a page. So now we go into the menu about and as you can see I'm running the latest build 5613 okay uh, you can check for updates going to preferences I'll do that in a bit obviously quit the application file we can create new open this text uh, open in page editor open remotely we can get started which is that screen we saw um, earlier uh, when we open the application, we can close, save, uh, we can look at the project settings, import web archive, open an editor, and export. We can edit, so we can cut, copy, paste, all of that good stuff, paste in location, um, paste as image from clipboard, arrange, select. Um, all right. And for a page, we can preview in Firefox, Safari, Google Chrome. All the big headers, we can use Google Fonts. Validate, save the page, zoom in, zoom out. Um, insert an object. And insert using Assistant. We can view, so edit view, preview, view. Uh, code editor. We went through all of those temporarily show hidden elements. We can show the grid as well as rulers. High toolbar, customized toolbar. And just like every other Mac application, we can drag and drop like so. All right. We can uh, exit full screen mode, zoom, select new tab, uh, toggle right panel. So we can close the right panel if we want. I'll leave it open for now. We can uh, look at the plugins and we can get help. And that's that uh, PDF download that I mentioned earlier on the website and we can send feedback. So let's go to preferences really quick and take a quick look at preferences. And as you can see, like I said, it's a big application. So there are a lot of different toggles here. And I'll just um, go through the screen um, page by page but we have general we have the browser preferences we cannot find browsers there we can look at the different colors color schemes there's quite a few options there we can edit font and colors all the different colors there are syntax colors can look at the editor and uh, edit the indentation and do other um, adjust other parameters um, in the editing tab here so show visible characters show page invisible characters show page guide at column enable smarter insert and delete uh, we can turn on autocomplete which um, I'll leave that off Let's see guides. We can look at um, the different guides, and once again, like I said, the templates for um, different devices here, and then uh, bookmarks. 
create a name once again host user password folder website so that was preferences all right so let me go ahead and get out of full screen mode all right all right so who is the application for it is for anyone who wants to create gorgeous websites and needs every tool and option available um so basically you know everything in the kitchen sink is thrown in there's nothing um, left out of this application that you uh, wouldn't be able to use this in terms of uh, web technologies to uh, help you build the best website that you uh, can possibly build all right it's for professionals um, but amateurs who uh, wants to use it can uh, get started and jump right in using any one of the 31 templates or even create their own template or use a, a template that was created by uh, you know a pro, a pro developer or someone else all right my recommendation um, the design is a great design I think um, it's the best version of flux um, that I've seen so um, I've been following this application for quite some time um, recently started using it but in terms of design like I said uh, definitely the new flux 5 is is uh, worthy of uh, being on par with Dreamweaver uh, capability definitely very capable uh, once again as I said it supports pretty much all of the the uh, main popular standards that you would need to uh, develop a complete website uh, performance and stability very stable performance wise performs quite well um, one of the things um, too that that's really impressive is that I'm actually using um, El Capitan before it's you know been released as a developer version of it and it's performing well even without having been optimized for um, that operating system so that's really impressive um, competition um, you know in terms of all the different competition I think um, it has elements of sparkle elements of expressive uh, 2.0 which I'll uh, discuss in a later video elements of um, rapid weaver 6 in terms of uh, being heavy with the uh, templates um, and of course like I said um, dream weaver without the subscription I think um, it has all of uh, those applications built in built in and rolled into one so you can really um, you know take your website to a new level uh, with this application and the price it is a hundred and nine dollars um, and you can get it either on the Mac App Store or you can go to their website and make the purchase there alright so that was our uh, review of Flux 5 uh, thanks for watching and if you found this review helpful to you in any way be sure to check out uh, Flux 5 in the App Store or like I said from their website watch some of my other reviews and remember to like comment subscribe below thanks for watching